Hey guys, welcome to Time Trail. Please hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it very much. So guys, today's video is going to be on this Yacht Master 16628. Uh, this is the all gold Yacht Master 1, which they made up until about 2006 and then was discontinued. Uh, so this model is a little bit rarer than, for example, my Platinum uh, Bezel Yacht Master 1 uh, that they made for since the inception because that was the original model. So I don't know, 20 something years, right? Uh, about 24 years uh, until 2017 when it was discontinued. Uh, they're still making some of the other variants in the Yacht Master 1, uh, but not this gold one and not the platinum one. Uh, so overall, this watch is pretty tight. It's uh, 2001. Um, it's got the older flip lock clasp, of course. Uh, it was never updated. Uh, but because of the polished center, uh, it's not really, you know, it's a pretty seamless integration. You can't really tell, to be honest, and it doesn't really make a difference, uh, in my opinion. Uh, just, you know, just kind of a uh, kind of thing in your head, I think, that makes a, a big difference. Uh, it feels a little more solid in my watch because it is all gold, uh, so the bracelet doesn't, you know, kind of uh, jingle around a little bit uh, like like mine does. Um, it's a beautiful piece. You're getting a great value for uh, for your money. You know, at fourteen, fifteen, if you really shop it around, you're not going to get a box set with that. Uh, you're probably paying 20 for for a full full set, but uh, you know it's a great value for a baller Rolex, a 40 millimeter modern size, modern men's size. Uh, you know, I think I see these watches going up in value. There is a limited supply of these watches because, like I said, they had their run was cut about in half uh, compared to the original I Master One. Um, so I see the value increasing. Uh, and at the end of the day, guys, you buy a Rolex to kind of you know, to have that hardy piece in your collection, but at the same time, be a little more blingy. Um, you know, something that even if you wore a paddock, a paddock is not blingy uh, unless you ice it out or if you have an iced out Nautilus or whatever. But a lot of the dress pieces, uh, complicated pieces, they're not flashy pieces. Same thing with the, uh, the you know, the APs, even the Royal Oaks, the regular Royal Oaks, they're not flashy pieces. Um, Chopard, JLC, you know, this is kind of, you, you know, the, 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 your way into, you know, being into a flashy watch, uh, not paying a crazy amount of money, meaning at least 30 G's. Um, here you can see a direct comparison between mine and the, and this watch. Uh, so not paying the 30 G's for that, getting a great value, and getting the same same reaction, the same goal, the same look uh, for way less. Um, and it's just a great watch overall, guys. You know, it's definitely a solid piece to have in any collection. Um, so guys, go check this go check this watch out. Uh, see if you like it. See if it's worthwhile to add to your collection. And uh, let me know, guys. Please hit the subscribe button, like I said. Comment, like, uh, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.